Good morning, viewers. We come to you this morning, Stephen Teresa Sheridan, Teresa's Treasures Ministry. And today happens to be our 40th anniversary. Who would have ever thought we'd make 40 years? But here it is. Today is our 40th anniversary and a little testimony. I was supposed to work today. We were setting up having our morning Bible study and I got a call from work and they called me off today. They didn't need me today. So what a wonderful blessing of the Lord. We had just asked him that that might happen and it did. God is faithful. So 40 years, Teresa. How about a little kiss? All right. You Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, baby. Woohoo! This morning we're going to uh, pray and then we're going to tell a little testimony about forgiveness because here we are in uh, uh, Palm Sunday and uh, so important. Easter's coming up and the Lord wants us to forgive. And this morning we're going to talk about forgiveness. But when we're talking about the Lord, we want to draw all attention to Jesus. All attention. And one of the greatest miracles that we've seen in our life is that He did it with both of us. I can have miracles and He can have miracles. But when you're working with somebody and both of y'all are working together because God has ordained a man and a woman to work together in their marriage... Wow, what an explosion that is in the spiritual world because Satan hates unity. He loves division. So don't let the enemy divide you and your spouse or you and anybody that is good for you. Now, sometimes we have to stand afar back when God's dealing with somebody and, you know, we have to let God be God and let him do what he wants to do. But this morning, I want to pray for us. And my husband wants to pray for us. And then we want to talk about forgiveness. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for another day together, Lord. You. Forty wonderful thank years you. with my wife, thank Lord God. And I thank you for every minute, Lord God, that Lord we've God. been together, every Lord minute. Jesus. Lord. I thank you, Lord God, as she mentioned, Lord God, the thank power in unity. Lord, there is such power in unity, Lord God. And when we allow you into our lives, that threefold cord, not easily broken, Lord thank Jesus. You, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you do for us, Lord God. We love you and we praise you, Lord. Thank we pray, Jesus. Lord God, that you'd bless this ministry, Lord God. Thank we pray, Jesus. Lord God, that we that you would speak through us to thank others, Jesus. Lord God, that we could reach a lost and thank dying world, Jesus. Lord. In this day of darkness that we're in with this violent with this virus, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that you'd heal our land, Lord God, that you would hear our prayers, Lord God. Lord, you tell us in your word, Lord God, that if we ask and believe in, Lord God, that all things are possible, Lord. And we pray, Lord God, that you would come against this virus, Lord, and that you'd save our nation and save our world, Lord. We love you and we praise you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Psalms 9 and 1. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. So this morning, I want my husband to testify about forgiveness because the Lord has, it's in his word that we have to forgive. And the reason we have to forgive is so that he can forgive us. We can't act like we forgive and not really forgive because with what measure we give out, which means however we forgive somebody, if they say, you know, will you forgive me? And they say, oh yeah, I'll forgive you. Well, that's the measure you're going to be judged back with. Yeah, that's not true forgiveness. So, forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness is actually for ourselves. God expects it of us, and we cannot be forgiven unless we forgive others. And if we don't forgive somebody, we're holding a bitterness in our own hearts. A lot of times the person that we're not forgiving will not even have a clue. It's not hurting them at all. It's the, when you hold bitterness within your own heart, that unforgiveness is actually eating away at you. So we've got to forgive for our own good and because it's expected of us from the Lord. What's your take on that, Teresa? Well, in, when, you know, you have some people that you can't tolerate and, you know, you need to forgive those people because they get on your nerves. Well, you know, I'm sure that we get on other people's nerves also. And the Lord is so gracious and so kind. And the, the things that he wants us to do, because it, just like Steve said, but for another reason is because a root of bitterness can hurt other people. Because uh, God loves us to be in unity. 
with each other, with him. And uh, unity means don't disturb the peace. Uh, everybody coming together. Like when you're in a church service or anything, when, when, so when you're all together and you're worshiping God, that doesn't mean that you all think alike. That just means that there's peace. Whenever God has you together with somebody, that you have peace with that person. You don't have to agree with that person, but you don't have to judge them either. And God is not, he didn't come to judge the world. He came to save the world. And when Jesus came, he came to fulfill the law. The Old Testament is the law. He came to fulfill all that. And, you know, when he says be subject to the law of the land, that means us and obeying authorities. Why is it so hard on some people that they just keep going back to jail, back to jail, back to jail? Well, they're not subject to the law. And sometimes they don't think they have another way. Uh, like in my house, when there was a lot of violence in my house, my brother, he, I mean, he, he was the worst one affected by it, I say, because he doesn't know how to get out of that grind of violence. Uh, I love my brother and I get along with my brother, but he learned that violence because our dad was his mentor. Our dad was the one that showed us how to live. And I just thank God that me and my sister and my other brother did not turn to that violence. Uh, you know, we were angry a lot when we were younger and stuff, but I mean, not as violent as it affected my brother. Now, it took my brother a really long time to forgive my dad because my brother's, he, he didn't understand. Well, now that we're older, we understand that whoever raises you, that's usually the attitude that you take upon yourself. And until you learn different, you don't know different. Uh, so forgive, forgive, because when you are dealing with somebody else, they were raised a whole different way. Amen. And so Steve and I brought our parents into this marriage, and we had to learn how to live together with two different uh, households. Uh, we always joke with each other, and he was raised on the hill, and I was raised in the valley, uh, meaning that we had we came from two totally different lifestyles. Uh, he was always raised with plenty, and I was raised poor, which I didn't know I was poor at the time, but it was okay because that doesn't have any kind of hold on me. Being raised poor, I, I know that I can go to my cupboards and I can make anything out of what I got. And that amazes him. He, he can't understand that it looks like we have nothing. She can make it delicious. And it's delicious. Maybe. Whatever I make is delicious. And I, and I learned that from my mother because when I was growing up, we didn't have. And my mother could make something out of nothing. And it was so beautiful. And when, until he said that, I never even thought about it. I just knew that, you know, we got food, we got something, and I can make something out of nothing. Well, that's what God does to us. When we forgive and forgive others, that leaves the door open that he can make something out of nothing with us. He can, he can do things with us. But if we harbor unforgiveness and bitterness... He can't do anything with us because it says, forgive and you shall be forgiven. And we can't mm -hmm. even enter into heaven unless we do that, unless we forgive. And I mean, mm -hmm. forgive and go on. Forgive, forgetting is not the same thing, but what you do is when you forgive and every time that uh, memory comes up, you know you haven't forgiven if you get ticked off every time that memory comes up. You haven't forgiven. Mm -hmm. How you know you've forgiven is when you can think about that thought and it doesn't bother you anymore. Let's pray. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for this message that you've given us this morning, Lord God. And Lord God, unforgiveness, Lord God, is disunity, Lord, and division, Lord God. And that is from the enemy, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that you want us to forgive, Lord Jesus that we could be united, that we could be in unity, Lord God. And again, Lord, that, that, that you would be a part of that, Lord, in that three, three-fold cord, Lord God, that is not easily broken, Lord thank God. And we thank you, Lord God, for strengthening us and being with us, Lord. We love you and we praise you. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. name we pray. Amen. Amen. Until next time.